Assalamu alaikum my ninjas, peace be upon you, my name is Mohammed and welcome to my YouTube channel Tech Utopia. Watching me for the first time, subscribe, share and like straight away. Ahlan wa sahlan ninjas, assalamu alaikum, peace be upon you like always. Oh boy, oh boy, what I have for you. This is my first exclusive gameplay of the Damon PS2 Premolator on Android tablet. Yes, the first exclusive gameplay for you guys. And this is the Techlast Master T10 with the Hexacore SoC, uh, of course with the Power VR GPU. You know what, before that I will just go now to Idea64 to show you all the specs there. If you are interested, maybe if you ne never heard for this tablet, so let's go to the CPU SOC MediaTek 8176. You can see it by itself. I'm gonna put the brightness up a little bit there. Oh damn, this tablet is super bright, Ninja. So this is probably for me the brightest uh, screen that I have on a tablet under $200. And regarding the display, we have a Power VR GPU. Just a minute, uh, Power VR ROG uh, GX 6250 OpenGL ES 3.2 build 1.7. You can see all uh, the dr basically all the drivers are here or the GLES extensions. Here we have it. If you want, just pause the video if you're interested uh, what uh, this uh, GPU has uh, SOC altogether combined. Let's go back to the Daemon PS2 Pro Emulator. So we're gonna heat up, uh, maybe warm up this uh, tablet, this uh, basically this emulator with the Contra Shattered Soldiers. Before that, I'm gonna just go to the settings and just show you the settings here. It's on default. It is on default there. Uh, not on default, I did uh, basically Attach activated fixed duplicated ghosting audio controls will hide them system and I skip bias simple like that. So let's go with uh, Contra shattered memory a shattered soldier Okay, here we are ninjas in this game uh, 20 FPS or so You can see by itself Probably the average is 15. I think I think it is 15. Uh, very impressive, not bad at all. I think that this uh, tablet has a better performance than the Halo P20, P23, P25, and Snapdragon 625 regarding the emulators, Ninjas. Regarding the emulators, at least so far with the Daemon, it does have... Uh, you can check my... Uh, you will see later on, I'm gonna even show you the Resident Evil 4 gameplay. And you can just check, uh, maybe I'm... Right now, not 100% correct there, but you can just basically watch this video and watch all my Damon, my Damon PS2 gameplays on different SoC uh, on Android uh, smartphones. So if you want to know maybe uh, the difference, uh, basically what are the difference or maybe on which level this SoC it is and this GPU altogether in compared to some uh, uh, Snapdragon or maybe made the tech here from Helio P series, you can check that out on my, uh, on my YouTube channel. Oh, yeah. Damn it. Okay, let's go with the next game. Well, he killed me, bro. He killed me. Okay, so right now we're gonna go with the Capcom Fighting Evolution. Uh, let's go to the option mode. Sounds, sound speakers are amazing and it has uh, uh, two sound speakers, Ninja. So you can uh, kind of have the surround system, surround sound uh, with this tablet. On, there they are on the bottom, left and right. Like I already told you, if you want to know on which level this SOC it is in compared to Snapdragon, MediaTek or Exynos, just check my my gameplays on different uh, devices, Daemon PS2. Okay, ninjas, we're gonna test even some harder games. Dragon Ball Z Sagas on this Techless T10 tablet, believe me or not. 
here we are just to put the this music down anyway so the same glitches which uh, every single soc has so far with this daemon ps2 pro emulator uh, you can see by self it runs let me just check here the fps meter show me show me yourself 25 fps ninjas it's running around 25 fps maybe you can't see it there Maybe let me go to some green background there. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There you go. So make sure to watch this video over your laptop or your PC. Maybe you won't see it on your smartphone. Oh, damn. Okay. So yeah, uh, remember that I forgot to mention. Maybe you are disappointed right now, but nevertheless, ninjas, even the Snapdragon A20 can barely handle this Daemon PS2. Uh, you will need to have a Snapdragon A35 because this emulator itself was developed on this flagship SoC. Uh, they will need to work a lot on this emulator to adapt it for some mid-range SoCs or maybe even some lower SoCs, etc., etc. Okay, why this guy is not... Oh damn! I saw a huge S uh, speed rise there. I even saw 40 FPS there just uh, for a second because the environment was hidden probably. Okay, he's dead. Let's go next one. A beautiful, beautiful game. It is a must-play game. Dragon Ball Z Sagas. Okay, I think we're gonna go now with the next game. Shall we go? Yeah, let's go with the next game now Okay, this is Marvel versus Capcom Very impressive this game doesn't run this good on Sun Dragon 625 and Halo P series Damn, this guy is insane, Ninjas. Just quickly a short test of the Kingdom Hearts, uh, it runs around 30, 35 to 40 FPS, really really cool on this Teclas T10 tablet, at least in this stage, uh, the FPS should drop, probably drop later on. Uh, anyway, just a small test there, I don't want to bother because this game has still glitches with this emulator, so it's not playable, it's not pleasant for your eyes to just look at it, it's kind of LCD trip. And of course, what is the gameplay without the Resident Evil 4 game? We're gonna now test it just quickly to see how it runs. Resident Evil 4. Sound speakers are amazing. Keep repeating that to myself, to you. Very, very loud, Ninjas. 
no disturb. Very, very loud. I'm gonna just put it down because that's super loud. 30% is enough for me. Uh, okay, so here we have it. You can see by yourself and it is slightly better than like I already mentioned the Snapdragon 625 or Helio P20, P23, P25. There you go, slightly, slightly. So it, still really, really amazing for this $200 uh, tablet. Beautiful, just beautiful. Okay, so I'm gonna just try to shoot here. I'm not gonna bother you too much because this is not playable. Just to quickly test the Resident Evil 4. So there you go, I hope you enjoyed Ninjas. Make sure to subscribe my YouTube channel, share and like this video. And of course buy this epic tablet. It is, I really highly reckon this tablet so far. Didn't find any huge con which will make me not to recommend it. It's just really amazing. The description uh, will be filled with the buying links to so support me in that way by buying on Gearbest or Banggood. Maxalaman, have a beautiful day. Peace.